That is a wall of bone, my friends. That is a wall of bone. Show dirt time. Show dirt time. And it's a time of year deal. Oh, yeah, bud. Bone is large, chub. Cold wall. Look how cool that thing looks down there. Look at that. Spawner, Mr. Red Lips, Mr. Lipstick. Look at that. Ha ha ha. Little chub. See this bag right here? See that bag? That is a pile of little swim baits. 3.25 Rage Swimmer. We have taped a lot of content with that, and that is a high power weapon. Now you can look at the standard way of fishing a small striking rage swimmer. Throw it out, reel it in real slow. You guys know who you are. Got him. Dunk. You get that bite, Ooh. you catch him and it's all good. But this time of year, really from now, all that? the way uh -huh. to early spring before the cockroaches come shallow, here's an interesting thing. It's fishing this like a grub. <laughs> like a jig. Oh, that right there is gold. Gold. Like a tube. Ooh. Here's the deal. Number one, critical, fishing it on braid. Seaguar 15 pound Smackdown braid to a six or an eight pound fluorocarbon pot leader or a gold label leader. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a real, real cold, deep water finesse swim bait deal. All right, here's the beauty. Here's all we're doing. Here's all we're doing. Here's all we're doing. Is I'll take a KVD Magic 375. Now what I'll do is I'll take his head off. Boop, boop. And then what I do is I trim it so it's a little bit more streamlined on my ball head by trimming that so it's streamlined so it's streamlined on the jig head it'll make that tail kick real good and just taking that little three-quarter of an inch off of it number one you're making a, a more compact bait but how I streamline that top of that head of that little swimmer it makes that tail, thump, 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 that tail just boot kicks. And that's it. Ta-da. You know, I got a lot of California buddies that are gonna watch this and say, that little Rage Swimmer is not even a swim bait, it's so small. And really what's happened in the evolution of swim baits coming from out west, coming east and south, and then up north. Biggin', really biggin'. And I love this about bass fishing. It's taken a technique and it's evolved it. A lot of people think a swim bait is you're swimming it. One of the most powerful things about a soft body swim bait is fishing it like a jig. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh, sloppy Joe right there. Come on. Come on. Ah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. Look at that one. Are you kidding me, bud? Yeah. Oh, I just came through a little bit of little bit of deep wood. That's a dandy. <laughs> yeah. Let's get another one. And here's the great thing about this. If you look at this little guy, it's a, it's a technique up here that we call it scooting a swim bait, okay? The key deal here, number one, that braided line, it's reaching out and touching somebody. Looking at this footage, uh, this was a show that I shot alone years ago, and it was frigid. Water temps were in the mid 40s, right? The fish were very lethargic. In fact, in that show, I remember catching bass 
that had mud on their bellies because they had not moved in so long, okay? But going back to the line, you want to reach out and touch somebody. This is predominantly a deeper water technique, a clear water technique. The lake that we were on right here is one of the most pressured lakes in the state of Michigan. That's right where I marked them. Stay hooked. Look here. Come on in. Oh, yeah, bud! Oh, look at him in the water. He's beautiful. I mean, that is a Darva Conger. Come back. No, that was horrible. Try not to suck, Z. Yeah! <laughs> look at that. Yeah! I mean, that right there is an old slouch. Yes! Go on and be free. Go on and be free. Woo! Those fish did not want that swim bait rolled, okay? They wanted that rage swimmer scooting on the bottom. It is gonna go today. The other thing about it is I use a very, very, very long fluorocarbon Tatsu leader is I don't want that braid anywhere near that bait. Like I'm talking a 10, 15, 20 foot fluorocarbon leader. You're saying to yourself, well, uh, it won't cast, it, it'll cast fine. It will cast fine. Doesn't matter if you use a double uni knot, an FG knot, an Alberto knot from your braid to your fluorocarbon, it will still cast fine. The other thing is the longer that fluorocarbon leader, the more dull it makes that swim bait on the bottom. So if you look at that little guy right there, if you you, know, you can put up animation right now, right? Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. I'm just in a little oasis out here of sand. Look, there's a little piece of wood. Yeah. Right? That's the biggest thing that I've learned about scooting a swim bait. You rarely feel the bite. The tunk, tunk, you don't feel that. Your rod kind of just loads up, okay? Just remember this, this year when the water's really cold and those fish, those cockroaches have not come shallow, they're out deep, scoot a little baby rage swimmer, scoot a small swim bait. That bite is so subtle. I'm only moving that thing about at most. I'm moving maybe an inch at a time. And that's the thing about it. You know, you're throwing a swim bait, but yet you're fishing it like a little grub. Good call. Look at those. Look how cool they look down there. God, those are little fatties, man. Just little fat dudes. Uh-huh, huh What a beautiful mixed bag day. Don't do the usual cast and reel slow. Get that thing on the bottom, catch more bass. Subscribe, like, subscribe. Hit the notification, the bing bong, okay? Scoot a swim bait, more shoulders coming. Look at that bone. I'm talking about a wall of pain, Jack!